Deccan Herald, 2nd of April 2024, according to Defense Minister Kawaja Asif, elections in India may lead to enhanced Indo-Pak relations. Peace with India is unattainable so long as the Pakistan army maintains control over Pakistan. To legitimize its existence, the Pakistan army must continue to target and attack India. Asif's remarks occurred days after External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar stated in Singapore that Pakistan sponsors terrorism on an almost industry level and that the current stance in India is to confront this issue head-on and will no longer skirt around it. Asif told reporters on Monday outside the Parliament House in Islamabad, our relations with India could improve following the elections there, adding that the bilateral ties between the two nations have their own history. The voting process for the 543 Lok Sabha constituencies in India will be conducted in seven phases from April 19 to June 4. Relations between Islamabad and New Delhi have historically been tense, predominantly as a result of the Kashmir dispute and Pakistani cross-border terrorism. Following the Indian government's revocation of Article 370 of the Constitution in 2019, which revoked the special status of Jammu and Kashmir and partitioned the state into two union territories, Pakistan severed diplomatic relations with New Delhi. According to Islamabad, the decision ruined the negotiation atmosphere between the neighbors. That decision was foolish, as Pakistan, not India, benefited from the trade. Pakistan has maintained that India bore the responsibility for enhancing relations and has urged it to reverse its unilateral actions in Kashmir as a condition for commencing the discussions. Pakistan has been informed unequivocally by India that the union territories of Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh are inseparable and fundamental components of the nation. In response, Pakistan has rejected the suggestion. Furthermore, New Delhi has maintained that the constitutional actions implemented by the Indian government in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir to promote good governance and socio-economic development are internal affairs of India. It has maintained that it desires normal neighborly relations with Pakistan while insisting that Islamabad bears the responsibility of establishing a terror-free and hostile environment conducive to such an engagement. Pakistan, which shares borders with Afghanistan, Iran, China, and India, has experienced strained relations with all of its neighbors in the wake of cross-border attacks from Iran and Afghanistan, with the exception of China. The defense minister stated that he and a high-level delegation had traveled to Afghanistan to urge the Taliban government to implement effective measures to combat terrorism. He was quoted by Geo News as saying that Kabul's solution was not practically feasible. Our options for the neighbor are diminishing daily due to the Afghan interim government's fluctuating stance toward Pakistan, Asif explained. Pakistan, he continued, has always supported Afghanistan, made sacrifices on their behalf, and even fought alongside them in battle. He emphasized that the Pak-Afghan border, like others worldwide, is governed by international law restricting cross-border movement to visa holders.